today's lesson, we are going to solve a problem. And how many of you have been to South Africa? You have been there? Uh, I was there in summer this year. And yeah, I went there to do similar things. I went to visit many schools and I did lessons with the children in South Africa as well. And anyone happen to know what currency they use in South Africa? It's called the RAND. R-A-N-D. And the RAND is, of, of course the value to the US dollar is not the same. So if you had one US dollar, uh, you can get 12 rands. So it's not bad, isn't it? Uh, so the, the, yeah, the rand is 12 times. Yeah, uh, this. So if this is 12 rand, what might $10 be? Tell people in your group. 12 times, 12 times 10, 10, 10 right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, if if a dollar is twelve rand, then uh, ten dollars would be. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And what about five dollars? Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Sixty. And what about twenty dollars? Two hundred forty. Can you just tell me? All together. Two hundred and forty. And what is a hundred dollar? Is that right? Is that right? Yes. Okay. Our problem today is this. Our problem today is um. My friend. Sometimes he lives in South Africa. Other times he lives in Singapore. You might know him. Do you know him? It's Spikey. And, and Spikey um, sometimes lives in South Africa. And he, he was visiting the US and he bought something that cost this much. I wonder what did he buy? Talk to each other. What did he buy? Uh, a camera? Yeah. He bought a camera because he came to Singapore, South Africa, or a handbag. He didn't even be in South Africa, right? He said he's not from Singapore. So he might be visiting from Singapore. Oh, yeah, he could be visiting from Singapore. Oh, he's very young. So, anyway, what do you think might cost that much in the US? $132. What do you think it might be? What do you think it might be? Is it possible? A camera might cost that much? Yeah? A hotel room, that's how much you paid for it. Do you think it's reasonable to pay for a hotel room? $132? It's okay? Not too much? Not too little? Reasonable? Okay. Uh, I'll leave it to you to decide whatever that, that thing that he paid for. Um, our problem today is this. Um, how can we find out how much would that be in rent? Right? Over to you for a couple of minutes. How can we figure out? 1,000, 1,000. What's 100? What's 100? 100,000. What's 100,000? Okay. No, let's see. Let's see. Right, sorry to interrupt you. I'm not so much interested yet as in the final answer, but I'm interested how can we find out? What can we do to figure out how many rand would 132 US dollars be? Yeah? You can do 12 times 132. 
Anyone else? You can break up 12 into 10 and 2, then multiply 132 by 10, in which case is 1,320. And then you can multiply 132 by 2, in which case is 264, and then you add them together and you get the answer. Okay, I'm a bit lost in the explanation, but I think I did understand some of it. Do you understand what he's saying? Yes. But uh, is it correct? Yes, go on. Um, well, I, I think he's trying to make it easier for him to, multi to figure out how many random it is. Right, so that's our problem today. Uh, so do we all agree that to find out how many rands we have to multiply? Yes. 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 For sure? Yes. Not divide? No. Why should we multiply? Like why would multiplying be reasonable? It's the simplest way to do it instead of just adding 132 12 times to itself. Okay. Anyone else have other uh, reasons why multiplication should be the way to go? I thought it was dividing. It's not dividing? Why, why should it be multiplying? Like why would multiplying be... Yeah. Because um, you said one dollar in American currency is worth um, 12 ren, so yeah. it's 12 um, times as many as one dollar in American currency. So American dollar is, uh, I suppose ren could be R, 12 ren? Mm -hmm. Yes. So to find out how much that is in ren, you were saying the calculation should be 132 multiplied 12 times? Yes. Yes. And then some of you were suggesting good ways to make the calculation easy. Our problem today is, can we find out two or more ways to make that calculation easier? Mm -hmm. We have one suggestion already, but can we find out more? Maybe at least one more way, if not? That's our problem for today. Find out as many ways as you can how to make that calculation easier for all of us. All right? Uh, can you use your whiteboard? And over to you. Give her, and that's our answer, right? So, 
Sorry to interrupt you. So, um, what was the final answer that you get anyway? What did you guys get? Um, 1,584. Is that okay? So are you saying that uh, 132 multiplied 12 times, uh, that's what? 1,000? 1,584. Are we quite confident with that, yes. that answer? Yeah. By the way, when you multiply numbers, the answer has a name. That's a word we use to refer to that. Um, what, what would we call it? It's multiplying and that will be a product. Is that okay? A product. Mm -hmm. Anyone else got other words for it? Um, okay, a method. Cool. Tell us your method then. So what is a good way or easy way to do that calculation? Um, so I, I split 132 into 132. Then I said that that's 12 times 32. I broke 12 into 10 and 2. Then I did 2 times 32, which is 64. 10 times 32, which is 320. I added them together and I got 384. And then I knew that 100 times 12 is 1,200. And then 1,200 plus 384 is 15,084. So in your opinion, which one is easier to do? Because apparently, you took this, you multiplied 12 times. Mm -hmm. You took that, you multiplied 12 times. Is one easier than the other? Yeah, the 100. It's much easier. Yes. So you went ahead and do the harder one first. Get it out of the way, is that right? So you explain to us how you got the 32, multiply 12, you got whatever you got. You Can you explain it to us? How do you do that again? I split, um, I split 12 into 10 and 2. So you did that? Yeah, and, and you then did 32 times that. 2. So those are quite easy to do? Mm -hmm. And those two will give us? Um, 384. Which is the product to this? Uh-huh. And then you do 100 times 12. Is that easy to do? Yeah, because all you have to say is like 1 times 12 is 12, and then plus two zeros is 1,000. So 1 times 12 is 12, 10 times 12 is 120, 100 times 12 is 1,200. Okay, that's method one. Um, any other groups have other ways? Yes, please. Um, you can break up one um twelve into three parts. Yeah. And um, so you can multiply one hundred and thirty-two by four, and that um gives you. Okay. All right. Uh, so if we know the product to one hundred thirty-two multiplied four times, what do we need to do? Um, just 
to get 132 multiplied 12 times. Talk to your friends for half a minute. What do we need to do? So basically, what you have to do is it's 500 divided by 4. So what you have to do is 4 times 2, which is 8, and then 4 times 30, which is 100. Right, sorry to interrupt you. So, if we know this product, what do we need to do to find out the product that we want, we actually want it? What do we need to do? Does it make sense? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. if, if this is 4 times 132, to get 12 times 132, uh, it will just be 3 times that? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is how I did it. So I broke 132 times 4 into 130 and 2. And then I did um, 2 times 4, which is 8. And then 130 is... Um, I did, uh, yeah, 720, and then I added those together, and then I did it times 3. So some of you prefer to look for easier way to do that. Mm -hmm. 130 times 4, and then 2 times 4. I'm sure there are other ways to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Um, why would method 2 be good? If you think it's good. Yes, please? Because it's shorter. Shorter? Any other views? Why is is a good method in your opinion? What makes it easier? Yeah? You're using smaller numbers. Using smaller numbers like four. In fact, you're using a single digit number. So in method two, you are using multiplication by single digit to do multiplication by double digit. Right? Why is method one good? If you think it's a good way, yes, please? Oh, this is an easy multiplication by 2, by 10, by 100. Are those easy ones? Yes. Okay. Uh, do we have method 3? Yes? Uh, you could divide uh, 132 by 2, you would get 56, and then 56 times 12 is 792, and you do it again, 792, and then you add it and you get 1,500. Right, so method 3. They prefer to look at 132 as 266. Is that true? Yes. yes. And then they went ahead and do 66 multiplied 12 times to get whatever the product is. And then as a result, what do we need to do uh, to, to the product of 66 and 12? Can you tell the people around you? What do we need to do? In method 2, we needed to multiply by, to get from here to here, we had to multiply 3 times, was it right? Yes. yes. And then for method 3, we have to... Multiply 2 times. Why? Because if you break it down into 2 parts, then you need to do it 2 times because you didn't actually multiply oh. it. So the first product gives us this one being dealt with, mm -hmm. and then you just need to double it. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. We still got a bit of time. Is there a method for? Yeah, go ahead. You could break up 12 into two parts and then multiply 1 into 132 by 6 and then multiply that by 2. Okay, so you're saying 132 multiplied by 12. You can do 132 multiplied by 6. Yes. And then what do you do to get the other one? You multiply that. You double it, is that right? Yes. Okay. All right. So there are quite a few ways. Yes, go on. Oh, all right. Go on. Um, so you split 132 into $100 and $32, and then you um, multiply the $100 by 12, and then you split uh, the $32 into $30 and $2, and um, then you multiply those by 12. Right. 
So method 5 is to do 132, multiply 12 times. You did three things. First is 100, multiply 12 times. Is that something very easy to do? And then 30, multiply 12 times. Is that something not too difficult to do? And then 2 multiplied 12 times, that's really easy to do. And then what do we do to the three products? You add them. You add Is that right? Them. Yes. Okay. Right. Um, journal writing, you have your journal with you? Yes. Right. Uh, in journal writing for today, can you pick, in your opinion, the best method? It's an opinion, there's no right or wrong. And then uh, write a note. To say why is a good method. Alright? So, journal writing for today. Pick a good method, show it, and then explain why it's a good method. Alright? Uh, feel free to do it wherever you want. If you want to come to the front to do it, so you can refer to all this, feel free to go wherever you find comfortable to write your journal. Alright? You don't have to be where you are. You can be where you are, but you can also move around if you want to. Alright? And feel free to continue to have conversation if you want to. Let's say five to ten minutes for journal writing. Is that okay? All right. Journal writing for today, uh, in your opinion, which is the best method to calculate the product of 132 and 12? So in your journal, you can just describe the method however you want it. You can show calculations. You can do whatever we did here. And then if you have time, do give your reason or reasons uh, for your choice. Is that okay? All right, so go on. Uh, we got five to ten minutes to do this. Kind of just finish up your journal in a minute or two. Just write your final sentence or sentences. Alright, uh, can you just grab hold of your textbook and just gather around here? We'll just stand around here. If you want to sit by all means, um, but just gather around here just for a couple of minutes. Just gather around the board. If you want, you can sit around here. Those of you at the back, can you move to the front? Um, which page are we on today? Can anyone find the problem that we did? Do? It's on page... Page 35, thanks for that. Page 35, yeah. Is that the problem that we were solving? The value of a dollar was roughly 12 times the value of the South African rand. Oh, it was a watch. Is it reasonable? A watch costs? Yes. Is that what a watch might cost? Yes. Really? Okay. 
how much did the watch cost in South African rand, and we were explaining it. What do you think of the methods in the book? Can you talk to people around you? Um, I think there are quite a few methods on the following pages. Just talk to each other. Uh, are, are the methods that they are using in the book by our friends in the book like the ones we have discussed? All right. Talk to your friends for a little bit. Textbook. Do you have a textbook? It's a workbook, right? So, is, is method one in the book like ours? Did we do it? Yes. What's method one in the book anyway? What did they do? Yeah? Do you think that's an easy way to do calculation? Yes. Are all the calculations very easy to do? Yes. I think there are six calculations that they did. Anyone do not like that method? Anyone think, oh, that method is not that good because... No, you like it? Yeah. Well, it's kind of a long process. Because there are six, yeah. six products to add. Okay. It's a valid uh, opinion, I think. Yeah. But in the end, if you have like easier problems to do, um, like if you do one that the whole problem, but you don't break it into parts, it's probably in the end going to be longer. To so you're saying even though there are six calculations to do, each of them can be done so quickly? Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, a valid opinion. These are all opinions. Yeah. Uh, what about method two in the book? Did we discuss method two in the book? If you turn over the page. But did we actually talk about that idea? Is it like one of ours? Which one? Although they use a diagram. Oh, they put it in a diagram. Is that right? Yes. So are you saying it's essentially the same thing? Yes. Any advantage of using a diagram? Any of you have an opinion on that? I mean, you don't have to, right? We didn't. Yes. It's easier to understand if you use a diagram. Mm -hmm. So maybe it helped you in your own understanding, or if you are presenting ideas, maybe it helped you in convincing your friends of your idea. Okay. Mm, method three. Oh, method three. Is method three familiar to you? What, what are they doing? Yeah. You see what they're doing? Tell your friend what what on earth is happening here. Anyone make sense of method three? I mean, how did they get a two hundred sixty-four? Where does it come from? Yeah. Oh, the, the, the 2 times 132, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And then the next time, they had to add a zero. Why? Because um, the, the thing, the, like, what they're multiplying, like, the, the thing that they are multiplying by is 12, and it has, it's a 10. It's in the tens place, so they have to. So that's 132 times 10. Mm -hmm. All right. And so then they do 132 times 10, which will basically make 132 over the 0, so only 1,320. Right. And then they add both numbers, which will make 1,580. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and is there any advantage in writing it like that? You know, they do it like, you know, like, yeah? Maybe 
It's shorter and it makes the addition easier. It's not the method I would use personally because it would confuse me in the steps okay. of the process. All right. But yes. You, you think it's easy when you do the edging afterwards? Yes. Okay. Because all the ones are together. Yes. All right. But you don't. You might not actually do it. Right. Yes. What method four? Do you understand method four? Did we do method four? No. Yeah. Yes, we did. 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 Yeah, we did. 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 We Basically, because you're um, you're doing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What? What you're doing? You're you're trying to find out the number that you can add to one thousand thirty one thousand three hundred twenty. So what you're doing? You're trying to find that number. Oh, so the the thing in the yeah. box is what. It's a difficult calculation of 12 yeah. multiplied by 32. Yeah, and then, okay. because you can already, um, so if you, since you're splitting it together, you have to do 10 times, 10 times 12 is what, 1,320. Okay. But then, you just do 3 times 12. Alright. 32 times 12. Do you think you're quite confident if you have to do a bunch of such calculations for homework? What's your... How confident are you? Like? Super confident? Confident enough? Not confident? Tell people around you. Confident enough. I don't really like it. But also, I can only do it this way. Oh, yeah. 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 That's all the time we have for today, but thank you very much. All right, thank you.